Um, first thing we need to do is basically go shopping. We need to specify the materials that we're going to use to lay up this structure. So I'm going to enter engineering data and select a couple of the materials that we would be using during the fabrication. Um, we can probably do a little bit better than structural steel, so I'm just going to delete that. Go to engineering data sources, composite materials. We have a massive library of this in, um, in ANSYS Workbench, and we can just specify what we want available to us in, um, in ACP to use. So I'm going to choose some uh, unidirectional prepreg. So that's a, a, a material where all the fibers are in a single direction. I'm going to choose a woven material. I'm going to choose some honeycomb so I can use it in a sandwich structure. And then I'm going to also select some resin epoxy. So if there's a situation where there's a little pocket of resin, I can model that. All right. I'll just quickly check if we're on track. Cool. All right. I'm going to go into ANSYS Mechanical to do my meshing and fabric shapes. So it's going to bring in my geometry. So it's just the chassis, the roll bar. I've got my patches for applications, and I've also got the geometry divisions that I need to make my name selections. So mesh, I'm not really going to do anything fancy here. I'm just going to see what the default mesh looks like. Um, basically, a good mesh for a mechanical model is also a good mesh for a, a composite model. Um, there we go. That's a little ugly. but So you can see that doing those patches, we have those edges preserved in our structure. This is going to do for our initial kind of... Um, simulations we might want to fix up some of these areas but it's it's good to go for now so over in my model tree you can see i've got these question marks so that's generally saying that there's something that i need to fix before i can proceed to further stages of the analysis so they generally show up as yellow it wants me to specify thickness to my components so at this point i can just put in a dummy thickness because this is going to get replaced when we specify the, the layup definition and it also wants a material for now, let's just say it's composite. We're going to replace that in ACP. One millimeter. All right. So we want to create some kind of connection between our roll bar and our chassis to transfer the loads across. I could do this with a, a contact, or I could also do it with a mesh connection. Sorry, a node merge connection. So I'm going to do that. Oh, whoops. I'll let it. I'll let it find it. So it's asking for a tolerance. So this is going to merge any node which is within this tolerance. So I'm going to say any nodes within one millimeter, please merge them. Um, detect connections. It's found some connections between our roll bar and our chassis. Fantastic. Generate. So it's now merged 40 nodes. So any loading that this roll bar sees, it will now transfer it to our, our composite structure. Our chassis structure, I should say. All right. Last step before layup definition is going to be specifying my fabric shapes. So this is all done through name selections. And what you do is you're just going to use this um, select face. And any, any faces that I select and then I put into a name selection, that's going to be passed through to ANSYS Composite Prepost. So if I was to do, I'm going to call this the top mold, I'm going to select all the faces that would make this top mold of our vehicle. So I'm just going through, I'm pressing control to select multiple faces. And I'm just getting all of those faces that I need if this was the real uh, mold of the, the chassis. There we go, I'm going to go apply. So I have 27 faces in this selection. Um, Obviously, if I've got the top mold, I'm going to want the bottom mold. So I'm going to insert another name selection. I'm going to call it bottom mold. And then I'm going to go through and select them again. Just grab everything that I need. 
So I'm just kind of sweeping through and, and selecting all those faces, the little patches as well. Also the floor, don't miss the floor. Apply. So I've got 42 faces in the, in the bottom half and 27 faces in the top half. Obviously I'm going to need one of the, um, the roll bar as well. So I'm going to do this with the body select. Select that. And one of the other features with this roll bar that I want to select is I want 